Hi, this video is to demonstrate how to look up a diagnosis code. Um, we're going to look in this book, which is the AMA publication of the ICD-10-CM. There's a lot of different publishers out there. The AMA seems to be a great one. It's very thick. It's a big, heavy book. Definitely get your exercise looking up codes. The way that it's structured is the first part of the book, you have your official guidelines and they really start on page three and go for several different pages. After that we have our index to diseases which kind of looks like a phone book. It's an alpha numeric listing starting from A to Z of all the different diseases and you'll notice that it has different codes listed to the diseases. We'll see if we can get this to focus. There it is. There's other indexes as well. We're not going to spend too much time, but there's a neoplasm table, there's an external cause index, there's a table of drugs and chemicals, all kinds of things. Typically when we're looking up a code, we'll start in the index, and then you verify the code in the tabular list. The tabular list is the second half of the book. It's color, colorful pages, and it lists all the codes from A to Z. So for demonstration purposes, let's say we have a patient with an um, appendicitis. We did a previous tutorial on appendectomy, so here's appendicitis. Um, this happens to be listed on page 25. It's in the middle column, and there's lots of different types of appendicitis. You can have it with a perforation, with an abscess, with peritonitis. It can be an acute appendicitis. Amoebic, chronic, have lots of different types. We're just going to go with this general word appendicitis, and our code says to look up K37. So, moving to the alphabetic listing, here's I, H, I, J, K. We're going to go to K37. There's my marker, and we'll see that it code K37, which is right here, it's called unspecified appendicitis. That's the ICD-10 code. You'll, you'll notice that there's lots of other notes and symbols, so when you take a coding class you'll see and learn what all these other symbols mean, like fifth and what this excludes one code means. It basically means not included here. So if you have a patient with K37 and one of these other codes, we can't report those together. But there's other notes as well, like what codes include, and we're not going to talk about all of those little symbols in this video, but just wanted to give a really good introduction and a basic example of how to look up an ICD-10 CM code. So there she is. Thanks.